Well, our uh, hospital was built in 1989, and then ICUs were not like the ICUs in this time. The patients were uh, all kept in a big ward. There was no privacy. We didn't have enough uh, safety. The patients didn't have a view. They had a lot of noise and unrest. So we thought we have to take the needs of the patients and their relatives more seriously. The architecture and interior design were dictated by two factors, patient-centered care and hospitality. Based on this vision, the winning architectural concept entailed moving the new ICU to a newly built top floor in the hospital. That meant we had a better uh, structural solution with regard to the logistics in such a way that uh, it was possible to create four parcels to provide daylight for all patient rooms, but also for the working spaces for the personnel themselves. This move also eliminated the need for a temporary ICU setup. We've just simply added the budget for the interim unit and for the permanent unit together, and from that point of view then we were within budget. And then we made a three-dimensional film of the two-dimensional plan the architect made and we built a mock-up room. And then uh, people started to think even further. And not only our doctors or nurses, but also all the logistic experts, the technicians. We asked an interior designer to overhaul the, the functional design. And that's why people, when they, they walk here, do have to feel that it's a beautiful place and a very peaceful place to be, which is not normal in an ICU. 36 private rooms were grouped into three units of 12 beds each with four pressure isolation facilities in every unit. We have assumed uh, ourselves as a patient and actually the bed is so positioned that uh, the patients, they will not be seeing all these extensive uh, equipments. By bringing in an interior designer in the project, it meant that the whole uh, approach with regard to the materials, with regard to the lighting, to the colour aspects, that's been a tremendous influence on the designer. And that's why you, you have uh, more a, a hotel atmosphere than you do a hospital atmosphere. The choice of ceiling colour, a solid light blue, resulted in a lower frequency of delirium in rooms with this type of ceiling. Because if the patient wakes up, we wanted the patient actually to see his own surrounding the way he or she is used to uh, see. The patient can see the clock from the bed, as well as a whiteboard showing the date and the names of the attending physician and the on-duty nurse. We could do it with an electronic board, but we may wanted to make it as natural as possible. The use of flexible ceiling service units and PDMS, the patient data monitoring system, eliminates the need for floor cables and wiring, while also enhancing hygiene and boosting safety. We also have uh, four inside gardens in the uh, roof of the hospital, not only to have a nice garden, but also to have daylight. Uh, you can turn around the bed and the ceiling service units towards the window uh, so that the patient can look outside. To promote hygiene and ensure privacy, we chose electrostatic glass doors and windows that can be switched on and off as needed and are blurred at night to create an atmosphere more conducive to sleep. The nurse can work from inside the room or at the desk just outside, which is equipped with a dual monitor. Uh, we wanted to have a monitor that once the patient is stable, the nurse uh, can also sit outside the room in such a way that uh, they can be uh, adjusted exactly the same way from outside as they can be adjusted uh, from inside. Depending on where the nurse is working, the alarms of the monitors can be adjusted to create the sound of silence, a central concept of this ICU design. Uh, the alarms will be sent to the cell phones, but in a selective way, uh, so that you avoid uh, all the false alarms uh, to be sent as well. And this takes all the noise from the patient. That's why we call it sound of silence. We worked with the warehousing department to develop a completely new materials distribution process. In each room there are special cupboards with drawers in it and these drawers uh, contain 95% of the materials that the patients need. Changed every 24 hours irrespective of being used or not. 
The supplies needed for procedures are arranged on so-called procedure trays that are kept in the mobile procedure trolleys. A conveyance set up in each 12-bed unit, along with an individual wound trolley, a respiratory trolley, and a resuscitation trolley or the so-called crash unit. Uh, we have a satellite uh, pharmacy within the intensive care department. First of all, there are a lot of uh, syringes being prepared by the assistance of the pharmacists. By letting them prepare our syringes, we avoid the medication mistakes made by uh, the nurses or uh, prescription mistakes made by the uh, doctors. Four primary medication modalities have been implemented and are supported by the logistics department. Selection is based on barcodes using Server X technology and is checked against the patient's actual prescription to ensure medication safety. Family members and other relatives can visit their beloved ones 24 hours a day. Between 8 a.m. and 9 p.m., they are also greeted by our hostess, who helps them find the patient or shows them the family area, located in the quiet zone of the ICU, away from staff and other visitors passing by. So we have six family rooms uh, with bathrooms, and in each room there are two beds, and there is a table to read, and there is a television, and uh, there is internet facility and couches to sit on, so that they can relax when they're not with their family. In the large hall next to the ICU, a dedicated elevator that can also be accessed from each unit travels directly to emergency. A large auditorium or conference room is available and booked on a daily basis for consultations and training. The ICU also has its own restaurant with a new catering concept where nurses, administrative staff and other ICU personnel can eat their lunch, thus saving themselves a 20-minute walk to the hospital eatery. Well, it was uh, built within time and within budget and the budget didn't foresee the way it looks now. It was just different thinking. 